What's up guys, it's Solo back with another video. Now today, I'm gonna be winning a game with every jump shot in NBA 2K23. Okay, maybe that's not true. If I were to actually do that, the video would be like two weeks long. There are unlimited jump shot combinations that you can create this year in NBA 2K23 with the jump shot creator. Today, I'll be using 15 of the best jump shots that I found on YouTube from your favorite 2K content creators, and I'll even throw in a few random ugly jump shots just to spice it up. After each game, each jump shot will get a rating based on feel and performance, and by the end of the video, we should have found the real best jump shot on NBA 2K23. I appreciate the support recently. Y'all been going crazy. We've been growing the channel. If you guys are new, make sure to sell up. We're on the road to 700,000 subscribers. Press the red subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you guys don't miss a stream or upload. We got a quick word from today's sponsor and then we're hopping into game number one. Guys, I've been talking about underdog fantasy in all my videos pretty much all year. The NBA season is now over, but the NFL season is right around the corner. And as you guys can see here, they have the season long props now on underdog. I have some examples here on the right. For example, passing yards, you pick higher or lower touchdowns for pretty much all the offensive players they have on here. And if you get five correct picks, you can 20 extra money. So let's say you put in $10. If that wins, you win 200. And if you sign up using code solo, your first deposit will be doubled up $200. So if you deposit 50, they'll match it and give you a hundred on the app. They don't only have pickums. They also have a ton of fantasy drafts. That's kind of what they specialize in. I personally love the drafts on underdog. Like, look, you can see right here. I already have eight fantasy football teams, although the season's like two or three months away. Don't miss out. Link in the description. Use code solo. Jumping into game number one, we have jump shot number one, which is base O'Shea Brissett with both releases as Oscar Robertson, of course, 100% speed and the blending does not matter. Now, I cannot put the blame completely on somebody else because I've mentioned this in a jump shot video before. No, it's not my main jump shot, but I've heard it's pretty good. Also, Grinding and Double H have mentioned this in their jump shot videos before, so that is something to note. Now, this kid, first play, is pulling in my face. Connor does not come down oh. with the rebound. Now he's pulling from Southern Uganda. Connor, get a board. Is Connor going to get horsed as this kid's going to green the three in the wing? And I want to, or the corner, I want to say though, Connor, not the best. 2K player. You see him getting horsed again. Oh my God, Connor. This is bad. He's not the best 2K player. He is more of a designer in the 2K community, but I need a teammate. You know what I'm saying? We got to get these videos out however we can. So, you know, did not get, you know, an A plus tier teammate. Nope. But as you guys can see, first shot of the day is an early. Oh my God. Is this jumper bad or am I just not used to it? I want to say real quick, changing jump shots every game, changing your jump shot timing as Connor gets horsed again. And also with the stamina factored in, like if your stamina is low, it changes the timing even more. Bro, this video was really tough. You see me comboing up. I'm like, I'm going to take it dunk, bro. I'm going to take it dunk. That first shot had me a little messed up. I don't know the timing. You know what I'm saying? Changing up from my jump shot to this one. We're walking back left wing. Green. We get our first green of the video. We get our first green of the game. And Connor gives him the ball right back off the inbound. Where's the patience? How is that not a block? It's 10 to 5. Connor gets the ball back. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, Connor. We thank him for that. Top of the key. I'm comboing up. I'm pulling. I noticed he left me open. I just kind of had to pull it in the middle of my combo. You know what I'm saying? It kind of caught me off guard. But now we are two for three on jump shots. And I have sharp take. Is it a GG? I'm pulling. Nope. Oh, no. That one wasn't wide open. It wasn't contested either. It was just kind of open. But we missed it. You know, apparently I'm not used to the timing. And guys, I'm going to give a rating at the end of each game for each jump shot. And I'm not going to say that the rating is completely based on the gameplay as I'm cooking up another green. Oh my God. We're still down though, 13 to 11. So the rating is going to be kind of more based on feel. You know what I'm saying? If it felt good, but I kind of just missed a couple because I'm literally changing my jump shot timing every game. So it's a little tough to like go seven for seven every game. That's kind of what I'm basing it off of. So it's a little bit based on feel and it's a little bit based Based on how I perform now I'm missing top of the key and at this point we can tell that you know this jump shot how is that not a block like 2k needs to fix the blocks next year sorry I mean I just saw that I had to say something but yeah like this jump shot is not a 10 out of 10 I mean I feel like it's pretty obvious I'm not playing too perfect so we just can't give it a 10 out of 10 although I do like it it feels pretty smooth as we get the ball back Connor in the corner for three three we're still down though. It's 17 to 14. Can we lock in, bro? We cannot lose. You see the title of this video? Winning a game with every jump shot right here. I'm a little scared to pull. So I hit Connor in the corner. He's gonna hit me back and I'm gonna pump fake. Get him both jumping and dunk. 
on the guard. Like, bro, I was a little hesitant to shoot with this jumper. I'm not going to lie because I want to win the game. Of course, you know, the goal is to shoot as many jumpers as I can right there. I call a quick slip. That play is crazy. It's like a guaranteed bucket every time. You know, I want to shoot as much as possible, but I also want to win right here. We need a three to win it. I'm comboing up top of the key for three. Dang. 21 to 17 win. How many points did I have? I think I had 19. Let's take a look at the stats. No, I had 16 points, two rebounds, two assists. The other stats don't really matter. We're only caring about the shooting. Six for 10 and four for eight. So I did not shoot the best. I mean, I didn't shoot terrible like it's not like i was like two for nine but for this jump shot we got o'shea Brissett, oscar oscar as the releases i'm gonna go ahead and give this jumper an 8.2 rating out of 10 because again it feels pretty good i know it's a smooth jump shot i know it's good i just think in this small sample size it's kind of hard to tell i just didn't play perfect jumping into game number two we have jump shot number two which is base jimmy butler release one oscar robertson and release two sadiq bay 82 to to 18 blending and of course we have 100 speed now young dirk recommended this jump shot so i found it from his video however i know that a lot of people use this jump shot i know it's popular in the stage a lot of lockdowns use it and you're gonna see why right here top of the key three first shot my player is fading back if you notice it's hard to contest this jump shot because your player kind of gives a little fade back like he kind of falls backwards connor is going out of bounds the one time he gets the ball like he had one job and connor just walks out of bounds but right here out to me i don't have to worry about his contest because i fall back wide open contest you guys saw he jumped at me but it was still wide open we're greening up two for two with this jump shot by the way is this the one is this the one and earlier uh i might have mentioned something that might have threw you off i will put losses in this video however i play with this with these jump shots is is the gameplay that you are getting as i just missed back to back with an early there okay maybe this is not the jump shot again this is one of the weirdest jump shots it looks weird it's weird to time so i don't i don't even know how i green the first two ones to be honest like you know you know switching off of o'shea to this one i get the steal on the inbound pulling from near the logo that was deep as we go up 11 to 7. i think i've greened three threes now i'm comboing up going behind the screen left wing Connor was open, but we're going to keep it and take the dunk. 13 to 7. I'm comboing up. Oh, no. Am I going to pull from deep? I'm thinking, should I do it? I do. Oh, my God. Yeah, I lost the touch. You know what I'm saying? I lost the touch. I'm not going to lie. And I'm, I'm going to say this a lot in this video, so I'm just going to warn you. It's hard, bro. It's How did he make that? First off, how did he make that? But it's tough, bro. Changing your jump shot every single game is tough. I'm going to tell you right now, I did not come out here and go seven for seven every game. You know, maybe we could fake the video and replay games over and over and over. But nah, this is one game sample size. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to win it every game. But whatever happens, happens. And of course, I'm going to try to use the jump shot as much as possible. I'm going to try to shoot with it as much as possible right here. It's crunch time. We're down 17 to 15. I take the dunk. 17 17 but can we hold on to this game connor hits me that's a little deep my sharp take ran out so i did not shoot it i'm comboing up left corner behind the back oh my god where are you going 19 to 17 we need one bucket to end it i'm comboing up walk back see you later green top of the key oh my god what a kill for game 22 to 17 win how many points did I score I had all 22 that game can we get the stat she pulled up there it is nine for 13 four for eight now this jumper is a weird one if you're a lockdown or if you're like a corner sitter or you just want to try something new something that's not really going to get contested but it feels a little weird then this jumper is for you we gave the last one an 8.2 and i'm going to give this jump shot here base jimmy butler oscar robertson sadiq Bay uh releases i'm going to give this jumper like just an eight you know what i mean i feel like it's not insane but if you are locked down, it's probably more of a 10, but I'm going to give it like an 8. Overall, this is an 8 out of 10. Heading into game number 3, we have jump shot number 3, which is going to be base LaMelo ball, release 1 Oscar Robertson, release 2 Nikola Jovic. Of course, 100% speed, 94 to 6 blending, and I got to say, this is Joe Nose's favorite jump shot. He was hyping it up in his video, and I know grinding also uses base LaMelo ball. That is his favorite, so his jumper's got to be pretty good, right? First play, 
we're comboing up. These kids that we're playing are pretty decent. I'm spinning back top of the key. Lamelo Ball might be a top jumper. I think I've used this earlier in the year, so I already know, you know, it's a pretty solid jumper, but we're cooking. First play, the spin back at the top of the key. Second play, we get the dunk. We're up five to nothing. Is Connor locked in this game? Is he going to be horsing? I guess we'll find out. I'm comboing up, bringing it to the top of the key. Over to Connor. Connor! Huh? What are you doing? Oh my God, he was hanging on the rim and everything. He just threw the ball right out of bounds while I was wide open. Connor, use your eyes. He gets it right back though for us. So, I mean, I guess there's that. Top of the key, I'm comboing up. Is this jumper really like that? Now, right there, nope. I'm gonna take the blame myself right there. It's not really the jumper's fault. I didn't get the walk back all the way to the three. Unfortunately, you know, I kind of got stuck in the midi. I'm sure that's happened to everyone that does walk backs from time to time. Connor, top of the key. He is fumbling with the ball. Oh my God, Connor, do not dribble the ball. Top of the key. <laughs> We are two for two from three, I believe, with the LaMelo ball base. Is this jumper the best jumper that we're going to find in this video? I mean, we are going to be playing with a ton of jump shots. So hopefully we come out of this video with maybe a new best jump shot. I mean, my jumper, my favorite jumper will be in this video. I mean, maybe that's the best one. We'll have to see. But who knows? Maybe we find a new glitchy jumper in this video. As I'm taking a few dunks, just trying to get some points on the board so we can guarantee the win potentially. Comboing up. Maybe I had the three right there, but now we have sharp take. I'm Coming. shooting some crazy shit. Um, yeah, about that. Uh, just mistimed very badly, but we're going to get redemption as we spin back. Top of the key, not top of the key, but right wing for three. 15 nothing. I am cooking. Other than that, one crazy shot. I mean, if we could just erase that from our memory, I'm cooking up. Look at me. Ankle breaker spin move. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm going crazy. I even got a little weird contest animation, but the layup still fell. Like, I'm really cooking. Right here, I was thinking about shooting the crab, but I decided not to. I played it safe. You know, we're up 17 nothing. Let's play it safe. Let's try to get a quick little safe bucket as I'm dribbling around. Spin move over to Connor. Oh my God, I'm running away. I knew it was going in because Conda Don is like that. That was like a little Steph to, or yeah, a little Steph to Clay moment where he throws it and he just starts running down the court because you know it's going in. I'm pulling from Southern Nepal. Oh my God. Um, Yo, Connor, you got to stop hyping me up because, you know, I don't know, bro. That's timing on the jumper is a little crazy for me and I need to just stay within my own boundaries or whatever and take some safe shots because these deep shots, these crazy shots are not it. Connor's gonna hit me. Right wing, we need one bucket to win the game with the LaMelo ball jumper and they decided to foul me because they know, you know, they know I'm cooking, they know I'm going crazy and he wanted to save himself, with, you know, cause I probably kill him. I probably, in the game obviously, you know what I'm saying? No TOS. I don't even know if that's TOS, but in the game, you know, I would have cooked him. So we're just going to go and take the layup uh, at the buzzer to win game number three with the LaMelo ball jumper. Shout out Joe Nose. Shout out Grinding because that is their favorite jumper. We had 19 points. 22 to 8 win, as you guys can see. 8 for 11 and 3 for 5 from 3. Now I'm deciding because I think I like the Brissette jumper more, but this jumper is pretty good like i don't know what to do i uh i'm gonna give this jumper you know for the sake of this video i will give it an 8.5 i think it is a very good jumper now would i use this instead of the o'shea brissette jumper probably not i gave the brissette jumper i think an 8.2 but shit for the video because i mean i don't know i don't know I like the jumper. We're going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Jumping into game number four, we have jump shot number four. This is base Tobias Harris. Release one is Penny Hardaway and release two is Rudy Gay. This is 100% speed, 70-30 blending. Grinding uses it. I think he recommended it in his jump shot video. And you guys can see, we're playing two mascots and they gave us the ball first. Is that a mistake? I mean... I guess we're gonna have to find out because is this jumper good? I mean, it's Tobias Harris base. I have never heard of anybody using Tobias Harris base. I am not lying when I say that. So we're stepping back, Hatch, first shot. 
it's not good. But we get our own rebound because, you know what I'm saying, my coach always used to tell me, follow your shots, get your own rebound as we get our first green of the game. We're up 3-0. Now, you guys can comment, but have you ever heard Tobias Harris is a good base? I think I heard in my team, it might be solid. I remember I did on my league with a couple of friends back, like, a, you know, a few months ago. And I remember Tobias Harris was a solid jumper, like he had a solid jumper, but I never heard of nobody using it in park. We're spinning back top of the key. Nope. Oh my god. I mean, you could tell right when I released it, that thing was missing. Uh, but luckily, Conda Don, our boy, got the board. I'm dotting him in the corner. Nope. No, Connor. Connor's 50. Can you comment there right now? If you're still watching this video, comment. Connor is 50. Bro, I'm gonna tell him to watch this video and check the com he's gonna check the comments, bro. He's gonna see everyone saying he's 50. That's that's gonna be funny. But look, he's he's getting a few boards. We're up seven to nothing against two mascots. Connor is scared to shoot it, so I got it back at the top of the key. Me versus the Clippers mascot. Oh my god, it's too easy. I called the back door right there. So you know, we, we can't give too much credit for to Connor because I audibly in the Discord called a back door 1000 IQ. So I know it's just I'm so smart. I'm so smart. But we got sharp take. Oh no. Is it clipped for the Clippers mascot? Top of the key, I'm comboing up from the seven logo. Frame. By the seven logo, I mean the, you know, season seven little thing on the court right there. I mean, the, that kind of sounded weird at first, but look at this, Connor. Back to me, right wing, catch and shoot. Frame. It's 17 to nothing. This jumper is not terrible. Like, bro, I thought it was going to be ass. Look at me. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Hezzy. Where are you going? Clippers mask guy. I mean, we're locked in. We are locked in. 20 to nothing. I got sharp take. Mascot on me. I'm hitting Connor. He's hitting me back. He knows I got to game it. I have to game it. Oh my God. Oh. It was a late, and they got the ball. Are we gonna lose? Are we gonna lose this? No, we're not. I mean, maybe. Maybe I don't want to spoil it, but maybe. But we got the ball back. They still haven't scored a single point. The layup, the dunk is wide open. But you know I want to shoot it. You know I want to shoot Kobe. it. See you later with the Tobias Harris jumper, the weird jumper, 23-0. And taking a look at the stats, 21 points, three rebounds, three rebounds, one assist. And we shot eight for 12, five for nine. And overall, it felt a little weird, but I'm going to be honest, like it was pretty solid. Like it shocked me. So I will give this jumper a 7.7 7 out of 10. You know, I don't want to hype it up too much, but it did exceed expectations. I would not, you know, necessarily recommend it, but this jumper is pretty solid. Jumping into game number five, and we have our first random jump shot of the video. Base Thanasis Antetokounmpo. Like, bro, we couldn't even got the good Antetokounmpo. Like, we couldn't have got Giannis. We got Thanasis. Release one is Leandro Balmero, and release two is Timothy Luawu. 100% blending and or 100% speed 69 to 31 blending I'm started off with a dunk because I haven't even shot this thing yet but I know that this is about to be brutal so I'm starting off with a dunk you know I'm just getting us on the board step back okay it doesn't look terrible it's got a little hitch though it's kind of ugly you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna lie it is hard to time now I want to say this now I am playing against an AI player I would have played this if he stayed in the game and you know we would have found a way to win it but this dude rage quit or something I mean he probably knew that we were using Thanasis' jumper and he had to get out of there as fast as possible. So I'm going to take another dunk just to get us some points, get on the board. I'm bringing it back. Step back. Nope. These shots are open, by the way. Like, I know they look a little contested, but these are open, and I believe I'm now 0 for 3 with this jump shot. So I go ahead and take a dunk because I'm thinking... Like, bro, is this jumper greenable? We're stepping back right wing. Bro, I feel like I'm timing these good. If you look at the timing on the top of the screen too, they're pretty much all slightly early, slightly late. You know what I'm saying? I'm not messing them up too bad. The green window is just so small on this jumper that like, I'm just not fitting it in it. Okay, huh? that sounded weird. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just not fitting the timing in the green window because it's so small right there i shot out early like that one was bad but oh my god what a crazy block as it is gonna stay there ball the ai is gonna try a three-pointer oh my god take cover out to me just kidding to reach and foul and we are losing this game to an ai player i have sharp takeover that should be a crime 
literally think about it. You know what I'm saying? I had to take a moment of silence because of how crazy that is. I have not made a shot. I, in fact, it's not like I haven't shot one. I'm like 0 for 8 at this point, and I have sharp take. I have sharp takeover. That is insane. I'm 0 for 8. I just showed it. I'm 0 for 8. Kobe. Wing. Bang. Thank the Lord. Because without him, we would have never made a shot. Just kidding. I don't know, Kobe. bro. I don't know what I'm saying. Nope. But this jumper is terrible. Early. Oh, my God. Like, bro, you guys go put on this jumper. I don't know what Connor is cooking. Like, bro, what is... I'm not even going to call him Conda Dom because just what was that shot? You know what I'm saying? He's taking close shot jumpers when I'm using Fanasis Antetokounmpo's jump shot. Like, Connor, I told him when we were playing this. Like, bro, if I'm using this bad of a jump shot and you get the ball, like, I need you to be productive. And then he proceeds to do that, bro. He shoots a late. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need a little help. If I'm going to struggle like this when I have the ball, please help me out. Sharp take again, right wing, oh. and I early did. I mean, this jumper is ridiculous. Second time is the charm. Yes, sir. 14 to 12 game. I believe that's my second green with the jumper. I'm going behind the screen. Top of the key. It's green. I remember when I was uh, talking to Connor in the Discord, I was like, yo, is this a screen jumper? I think he said it. Like, bro. There's no such thing as a screen jumper, but we started setting screens where it's like, yo, 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 that's the method. That's the method to make shots in this jumper. You got to set screens for me and I'm just going to shoot behind him. But yeah, I ended up shooting some crazy shit. We do get the ball right back right here. 17 to 12. Is it time? Like, bro, do I have it down now? Let's find out. Top of the key. No. I don't. Connor is getting another board. I don't know how many boards he has. I guess we'll see at the end of the game, but I'm stepping back again. Oh my God, this jumper's terrible. I mean, I cooked this up. Like, I cooked up a literal random jumper. It's not even a known one. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could have put on, like, Shaq or Dick Barnett. I know has been pretty bad. But, like, what is this? Like, I really just picked some random names. And it turned out that this jumper is almost ungreenable. I mean, I'm getting open every play. And I feel like I'm timing it solid most of the time. And I just can't do it. Like, 19 to 12, left wing, in the mascot's face. And it's green. We win the game, I believe, 22 to 12. And we played those mascots again. The guy on me was an AI. Uh, you know, the teammate was a TNB member, which if you guys know Nadex, that's his clan. 22 points with five rebounds. Connor had 11. We shot nine for 23, four for 18 from three. Bro, that's crazy. That is actually crazy. And for this jumper, I'm going to give it a rating of a 1.6 because you know i'm saying i'm not going to give it completely the lowest which would be what a zero or maybe a one because i did green a few bro it is tough to green with this jumper let's just give it a 1.6 out of 10. jumping into game number six here and we have an interesting jump shot base pj washington with release one sadiq bay and release two larry bird 100 speed 76 24 blending i got this jump shot from grinding so if it's good or if it's bad credit grinding or blame grinding you know what i'm saying don't don't get mad at me if this jumper turns out to be bad but it is for grinding he did recommend it for low three point builds you know what i'm saying if you're a higher three point build they are better jump shots for you according to him but first shot is green okay let me find out and connor's pulling too yo connor's greening is this yo is this real life okay nah let me chill on him i'm 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 you know what i'm saying not gassing him i'm reverse gassing him up well i'm i'm hating I'm hating on him a little much, but look at me, bro. Top of the key, I'm greening like that. Two for two with the PJ Washington jump shot. Again, this is another one nope. that I have not heard of right there. I'm not even lying. I think something might've been wrong on my controller. I shot a late, my drip moves were weird, um, but we do get the ball back right here on some weird pass. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of cool from Tuka that they added that, those like weird throwback in, but Connor's greening again. Is this the Connor game? I mean, what's going on here? Connor's guy is not playing, but you know, I got to go crazy. We're spinning around, spinning back. That's a little too deep for me, but oh my God, that's the hook. We missed it. If I hit that, that would have been crazy. This kid's got the ball. He thinks his teammate's open, but he's not because I'm the lane. God, I get the ball back. I find Connor left wing. Oh my God. Conda Don. Now, this is actually Conda Don this game. You know what I'm saying? Some, sometimes we got to hate on him, but sometimes he's going crazy. Right wing, and I missed it. Hold on. Is this jumper not like that? Is it not like that? We get the ball back. I do have sharp take now, and we are pulling for Southern Malaysia. Brain. 
all right realistically that was not that deep but you know what i'm saying it was a little deep and oh my god is that connor or is that steezo i'm not sure but he's gonna hit me in the corner for three and we win the game 21 to nothing with the pj washington jump shot you guys can see 12 points, two rebounds, three assists. I had a steal and we shot four for seven. Every shot was a three pointer. Now, this jumper surprisingly did feel pretty good. Like going into the game, I was like, this is probably gonna be mid. Maybe it's not even gonna be that good, but four for seven and it felt solid. I'm not gonna put it in that Lamelo O'Shea Brissett tier. Maybe not even the Jimmy Butler tier, but I'll put it above Tobias Harris. Like I'll give this a jump shot rating of a 7.9 out of 10. Like I'll put it right below eight. Like it was actually surprisingly solid. Jumping into game number seven and oh my God, we have the best jump shot in the game. Game, my jump shot which is base Kyle Kuzma with both releases as Oscar Robertson of course 100% speed and the blending does not matter we're starting off with ball we have to lock in I hit Connor his guy is not playing which is kind of weird so I'm like what should I do I hit him he hits me back first shot of the green and you already know what color that is it's green three nothing are we gonna go perfect in this game with my jump shot once again nothing's rigged this is not a perfect game. Wow, I just shot it early and you know what I'm saying? You can believe me or you, you don't have to believe me, but I think that I had a lag switch right there or whatever, a lag spike right there or something because when will you ever catch me shooting an early, like not just like a slightly early, but an early on a wide open jumper with my own jump shot. It's time to lock in. And as I was saying, this is just one game and, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not playing 10 games just because it's my jump shot. I'm trying to get a perfect game, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta lock in, we gotta show out. We're pulling up, that wasn't a three. I didn't get all the way behind the line, but we have seven points. I'm comboing up, I have sharp take. I'm pulling in his face. Oh my God, 7% covered. It doesn't matter. And to be honest, this year, it's tough to hit contested shots. So that's kind of impressive right there. We're pulling his face. It doesn't matter. We're dribbling around. I hit Connor. Hits me back. Top of the key. Frame. 13 to nothing. And I mean, bro, I, I don't know what to really say. Like, I expected this jumper to be crazy because I go crazy with it every game. Um, Yeah, we could cut that out or something because uh, I, just, I just missed everything. Um, now let's be honest. Let's be, I pulled it in his face. Literally. He was inside. Of, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. He was on top of it. Okay. That sounds crazy too. He was, his hand was right in front of me. So you can't expect it to, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to hit some crazy shit and yeah. So we just air ball, but okay. We're back locked in Connor in the corner. Okay. Uh, Connor, we're gonna need you to hit those. Connor, redemption. Yes, sir. Okay, 19 and nothing. We got team takeover. Even Connor has takeover. That's crazy. Top of the key. I'm comboing up. What are we gonna do for a game with the best jump shot in the game? Spin back. Oh my God, where are you going? Top of the key. See ya. We win the game. 22 to nothing with the best jump shot in the game base kyle kuzma if you guys been watching my jump shot videos all year you know that's the best jump shot i've been putting y'all on 19 points one rebound one assist one steal seven for nine from the field and five for seven from three now i'm gonna just be honest with you guys i know i didn't go seven for seven but like i said it's not completely based on the game and i've been using this jump shot all year so i'm giving this jump shot a special rating of a 10 out of a 10 yes this jump shot is that good if you guys don't believe me then go put it on i think you need to be six five or taller but base kyle kuzma with oscar robertson as both releases that has been my go-to jump shot this year for the entire year. Jumping into jump shot number eight here, we have base Isaac Bonga, release one Rudy Gay, and release two Paul George. This is 100% speed with 27 to 73 blending. This is recommended by Double H, or at least he said that this is set shot 25, which I knew of that, but I mean, I, when I looked at his video, he said that this was a solid jumper, I do believe so. It is on double H. Is this a good jumper? I guess we're about to find out. Connor starting us off with a green in the corner. Okay, Connor. Yo, 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 what is Connor on? I was about to say, Connor, you got to chill on the shooting leg. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to test the jump shots over here, but I mean, he's not even letting us get a chance. He's turning the ball over, just walking out of bounds. I'm cooking Connor. 
there you go. I mean, we don't need you shooting every play, Connor. You know what I'm saying? Hit me back. This guy's jumping left wing, low on stamina. First shot is an early, but you know what? I'll blame it on the low stamina because that really messes with the timing, especially when it's a jumper that I don't know. Again, low stamina, another early. Okay. I mean, you can't blame me, bro. The, first off, this jumper is pretty bad, bro. You can tell by the way it looks. It looks pretty weird. It's not that smooth. And oh my God. I mean, I'm going out of bounds. I can't time a jumper. I do get it right back though. But also, you guys got to understand, I'm changing my jump shot every single game. Right there, I get a slightly early, so a little bit closer to green. Probably just outside the green window. But I'm changing my jump shot and my timing every single game. Especially when I'm low. Okay, nope. what is Connor? You know what? Do I need a new teammate? Because this is getting absurd. Connor can't even get a rebound. Like, what's going on here, man? Finally, gets a rebound, we get the ball back. But yeah, this is really tough, especially when you factor in the stamina, bro. When your stamina is low this year, like you're gonna miss a ton of shots. I just take a dunk, bro, because this jumper, I mean, bro, Isaac Bonga. That's all I gotta say. Look at that, bro. Nope. What? Apparently last year in 2K22, I might have used it a little bit. Set shot 25. Yeah, I think I did use it on my small guard. Set shot 25 was a top jumper among stage guards. That this is the look like this year because you guys know there's no more number jump shots in this game. It's all name jump shots. And people said Isaac Bonga looks like set shot 25. So if you want that jumper, put this on. But look at this. Why would anyone put this on? I mean, what? This is bad. This is really bad. What am I like 0 for 5, 0 for 6? We are winning the game somehow, 7 to 2. I don't know if these kids are playing blindfolded or what, but I'm using Isaac Bonga jump shot right now, guys. Guys, I'm using Isaac Bonga. Please, can you beat me? I mean, I'm begging you, please beat me. We're gonna walk it back. I can't shoot that because this jumper takes a long time to get off. So it's like, I need a decent amount of space. I kind of figured that out. I'm comboing up right there. I'm still a little scared to shoot that because I'm not sure if I have enough space. Connor is gonna hold the ball for me. I'm gonna come get it again. I'm already low on stamina. So this cannot end good. Just kidding, I'm gonna take a quick drop. Quick drop dunk, the best dunk package in the game, in my opinion. It's not an opinion. It is the best dunk package other than contact dunks. Right here, Connor's open, but I'm trying to find my own shot because is it, you know what I'm saying? Is it really a point in doing this if I'm just hitting Connor replay? As we do green, our first shot with base Isaac Bonga. There it is. But yeah, you guys get what I'm saying? Like, I want to get a decent amount of shots. Even if I'm missing, bro, that's the point of the video. Like, Connor's going to green one in the corner. I mean, what can I really do? They're leaving him wide open. He's going to have to let him, you know, know that he can shoot. Stop leaving him wide open. Right here, I'm walking around. I'm like, yo, should I shoot it from southern Thailand? No, we're not. We're going to pull it back, and I'm going to take the dunk. If I was behind the three-point line, I might have pulled that, but it didn't, you know, get me behind the three-point line, so I just took the dunk. Now it is time. We need to get a three because why would we take a dunk to end the game? Oh, my God. Shout out to Steezo for that move. That shit is crazy. I might have to drop a video on that, but I'm cooking. Nope. Oh my God. Off the Steezo freeze. I don't even know if it's called that, but off the freeze, yo. If I hit that, that actually would have been a tough clip, bro. This guy's pump faking. He's pump faking and Connor cannot get aboard. So I'm going to have to get a steal to save the day. Walk back into the corner for game. See ya. 22 to four win with base Isaac Bonga. Yo, 16 points, one rebound, two assists. We had three steals. That's crazy. Seven for 14, and we were two for eight from three. Now, this is one of the worst jump shots. This is the probably the worst jump shot that I was really recommended. Like, I'm not talking about that random jump shot. I use like the nastiest answer to Kumpo. This is like a, a jump shot from a jump shot video. I think it was Din Double H's jump shot video, bro. He said it looked like set shot 25. This is the jump shot. So maybe he wasn't like saying like it's the best in the game, but this is the one from 2K22 that looked like set shot 25. I'm gonna give it a rating of a 2.2, bro. This jumper is bad. 2.2 out of 10 for Isaac Baga jumper. Do not use this under any circumstances. Do not use this jump shot. Heading into the next game, we have another random jump shot, and this one is not a good one. We have a full Ronnie 2K jump shot at 100% speed. We got a random jump shot game, and you know what that means. We got to lock in. We got the ball off the first play. Kobe. Walk back. Oh, my God. What is Ronnie 2K cooking? I'm laying out for the ball, but he caught it, bro. I tried to throw it off of him. To be honest, you cannot control the passes when you throw them in. So what am I saying? I did not try to throw it off him, but I tried to make a play. And that's all that we can, you know, appreciate. But we got the ball back. I'm going crazy. We're taking a dunk because, bro, after that first shot, like, 
I knew this was going to be a tough game. I knew we're playing a mascot. Like, this is going to be a tough game. We're going to have to take our points when we can. But, of course, like I've said earlier in the video, we're going to shoot as much as possible. Connor is tweaking out what is going on. I'm in the corner for three. Brains. I was kind of surprised that I greened out, to be honest, bro, because the Ronnie 2K jump shot is cruise. Like, it's crazy when you really think about it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Maybe this jump shot is good. Maybe this jump shot is good. I'm going crazy greening off the spin back right there. I'm cooking. Nope. I shot a late. It was contested, but I got him on board. And as I was saying, it's crazy when you think about it because Ronnie 2K really got in that little, that mocap suit, I think it's called. And he really took a jump shot. And that's what it looks like. Like that jumper is, it almost looks like you got a broken arm. If you really look at it closely, like look at that. Oh my God. Right wing. I'm green again. I think I'm three for four at this point, bro. I think I'm three for four. I'm actually greening up with the Ronnie 2K jump shot. Like I'm really getting a hang of this whole changing my jump shot every game thing now right there i'm cooking i don't know how we got a 12 percent because i felt like i was pretty open here he's taking a shot at the buzzer to shooting from like uganda who even knows where he's shooting that from but i'm spinning around oh my god we're taking the dunk it is 13 to 2 with the ronnie 2 jump shot and bro this is one of the better jump shots we've used this video like okay it really isn't but my performance with it and oh my god it's spinning to the dunk but my performance is up there with some of the best and here we go i'm going hit him with that little steezo freeze we're glitching out i thought i was gonna go out of bounds like that i don't know how i didn't so i passed it and then right here i do it again and i got scared again so i passed it right away connor's gonna throw it back to me and i'm fading oh my god bro do not tell me ronnie put on that suit and took a fade jumper and it looked like that because that was ugly as i'm getting the blocker right there we get the ball back it is 15 to 2 and it's time to lock in we're pulling top of the key oh my god bro i don't know what it is but i'm making this jumper look good i'm making this ronnie 2k jumper look good and right here i'm hitting him with the freeze again i'm comboing up oh my god oh i wasn't comboing up i don't know why i said that but i was hitting him with that little steezo freeze and i shot it from deep and i just missed it i don't even know if it's possible to hit that especially with a ronnie 2 gauge jump right there it looked like i got shot or something i don't know what's going on so i might have to just take a regular shot at this point but uh we're gonna walk in and we got this mascot on me he's talking to me in game chat i forget what he was saying and i'm gonna go out of bounds because i'm an idiot what's new 18 to 2 i'm gonna get a steal get the ball right back these guys can't score i'm using a ronnie 2k jump shot it's looking bad for now i'm pulling from the seven and that's open but it didn't go on we get another steal like i'm really in the lanes connor hits me right wing for a game see ya like when i was actually trying bro that jumper was okay like i was greening up you're gonna see the stats here 21 points let's see the full stats here in a second i missed a decent amount of shots you can see on the bottom 50 percent from the field but i was trolling like i was shooting from deep you see eight for 16 from the field five for 12 from three but a lot of those shots were like from mad deep so i really probably showed like what five for eight maybe so i mean i'm still not gonna give it a great rating but it's not awful so i will give the ronnie 2k jump shot a rating of 5.8 out of 10 ronnie you might want to get in the lab because that jumper was not it jumping into the next game here we have base derrick rose release one is oscar robertson and release two is derrick rose 100 percent speed 79 and 21 for the blending and this is recommended from double h so you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to find out. I don't know if he uses this. I don't think he does, but it was in his jump shot video. So we're going to have to find out, is he lying? Is this a good jump shot? Let's find out. First shot, that's nope. not going to go. And that was a little contested, so I can't really, you know, get too mad at it. I'm not going to say the jump shot's bad based off that. Also, now I'm on my small guards. That's going to be even more of an adjustment. I am no longer on my 6'9". I'm on, I believe this is a 6'4", with like a few badges. But we get on the board right there with our first green of the game. So we are now one for two in a 3-3 three, three game. I'm comboing up, trying to get the hang of the whole little guard thing. You know, it, it kind of takes a little adjustments. Different drill moves. It's going to be quicker jump shots, all that. So I'm going to take a dunk. And right here, walk huh? back. I got scared. I don't know what happened there, but I passed over to Connor. Connor's going to give it to me. I'm going to bring it back out, top left, and we're dunking it. Seven to three. So we got two dunks, one green, and I believe one missed shot, which was contested. So jumper, you know, not going to write it off yet, but I'm also not thinking it's the best if we're one for two in this game. Connor's going to get the ball. He's going to go in and take a dunk. 
it is nine to three. I think these kids were pretty good, so we weren't trying to really mess around too much. Right here, I'm comboing up right wing, top of the key. Am I gonna take another dunk? No, I'm going left hash. He left me open. <laughs> Slightly early. Damn, so now I think we're one for three at this point from three. So it's starting to look a little bit bad. And to be honest, if you really think about it, we're using base Derek Rose. I don't know if I've heard of that before. And right here, he leaves me open. So I just pull it again slightly early. So we're getting slightly. Maybe the green window on this jump shot base is not the biggest. Or maybe I'm just ass. It's probably the second option. But right here, I'm hit Connor. He's going to pump fake, get him jumping, and go up with the layup. It's 11 to 3. We got to lock in because we got to test out. Is this jump shot good or, or not? You know what I'm saying? I think what? We're 1 for 3 at this point. I'm comboing up. He's kind of sagging off me. I'm going to walk back. No, I'm not. Okay, pull down left wing, and I missed another one early. I think we're 1 for 4 now. And it's just looking bad. This kid's going to green. He's fading again in the right corner. He's green up. Bro, this kid was solid. He was solid. He was in his shots. There, we get a shot clock. You know, I clamped him up on this build. I have like a 25 defense. So, you know, we might end up losing because my defense is just that bad. This kid's going crazy. I don't know. Bro, he was in some crazy shots right there. Luckily, he missed. But this kid was on time. And so, we got the ball back. 11-11 game. Are we going to get our first loss of the video? We'll find out. I'm on the right wing, and I'm shooting it. And this, bro, I don't know, bro. Double H recommend this. I don't know how he just hit that. I need his jump shot. What is his jump shot, bro? Because we need to play a game with that one. And now we're down 18 to 11. But yeah, like, Double H, I don't know. I don't know if this jump shot is it. Base Derek Rose, I never really heard of that. You know, being a good jump shot before, I don't think I've used it. And I know he's a Bulls fan. Maybe he just likes Derek Rose, and he said... It's a good jump shot because he likes that player. Maybe. Who knows? But it's 18 to 13. It was just 18 to 18 to 11. We took a dunk. Right here, we're going to take another dunk. Get right by him. It's 18 to 15. We got to lock in. Are we going to lose? Are we going to lose in a video where we're winning a game with every jump shot? Left wing. It's not going to go. Connor gets the board. Back out to me. Left wing. Green. Come on. You know we got to lock in. 18 18. I got sharp takeover. Is the game over? Right wing. For three you later we greened it we win the game 21 to 18 in a crazy comeback game where i was getting adjusted to a small guard i also had on the weird sig so i'm gonna go ahead and change those after this game but we had 17 points you guys can see in the bottom shot 54 from the field and 33 percent from three i think i didn't show the stats on this game so we're not gonna be able to see that but for this jump shots rating honestly it's pretty bad. Am I going to say it's worse than the Ronnie jump shot? I'm not going to do that. But I'm just going to give this jump shot a 6.1 out of 10. So not terrible, not great. Kind of in the middle. Wouldn't recommend it. 6.1 out of 10 for the Derrick Rose jump shot. Jumping into this next game here. And we have base Stephen Curry. Release one Oscar Robertson and release two Oscar Robertson. 100% speed, 50-50 blending. Now, I got to tell you, this was recommended by a ton of YouTubers. For small guards, Steph Curry is a great base. It was recommended by Joe Nose, Steezo, Double H, Grinding, and myself. Of course, I didn't go through all the jump shot videos, but I went through some of the top ones and I saw this jump shot in pretty much every single jump shot video for small guards. So we got to test it. I mean, it's even in my jump shot video. Like this, this jump shot base is very good if you can get it. It is, I think you need a 92 three pointer. So, you know, some people can't get it and you got to be under 6'5. So it's a little tough to get, but we got to lock in. We're versing a mascot and we're down 4 0 to start. Top of the key, I'm dribbling around. I got the right sigs on now, but I'm still not completely used to them. Walk back, green, first shot, automatic. We are automatic with this jumper. Four to three, right wing. I got a little scared. I don't know if I would have made that. He would have got a slight contest. And again, I don't have badges on this build, so I honestly probably would have missed it. But we're at the right wing, top of the key, whatever you want to call it, green. It's six to four, Connor. What are you doing? Oh my God. As we go down. Not down, but it's tied 6-6. Six, six. Connor with a rebound out to me on the right wing. Connor, get your shit together because we need to lock in and win this game. It's a close one. Reverse on the mascot. Connor drives in. T gonna take the layup. Gonna make the layup. 8-6. to six. Fast forward things. I'm on the left. Dribbling around. Left wing. Get him jumping over to Connor. Connor, walk back. Who does he think he is? 
that should have been a turnover honestly i don't know how he didn't get that steal i have one adrenaline boost and now i have none but i get by him and take the dunk we got a 10 to 6 lead but can we hold it dribble around top of the key i mean we should be able huh? to oh my god i just shot it early to be honest right there if you guys do walk backs i know you can relate to this i didn't get all the way behind the three-point line and that messed me up like if i was behind the three-point line i pr i might have been open but i was in the midi and i just i just shit my pants i ain't gonna lie i'm not gonna lie bro and look right here this dude was going crazy on connor so i had to step in and guard him with my 25 perimeter defense in this build and no this build doesn't actually have a 25 perimeter defense i just haven't upgraded it so it does right now but the way i created it I didn't make it with 25 premium. You, you get what I'm saying? Right there, they get a crazy throw in to get the dunk, and it's 19 to 10. Connor with a stop. Will we come back left wing green? It's 19 to 13, but we're down by six. I've been playing great. We don't deserve to lose this game, or do we? I was telling Connor, like, I don't know if he's the teammate for this, because, bro, this Bill the Mon has, like, no D. And he needs to get a stop. He needs to be productive. You know what I mean? Because I'm already struggling. So I need my teammate to be a little helpful. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take a dunk. 19 to 17. We, no. We tried to get it to Connor. And it bounced off the opponent's head. 19 17. Is this going to be all she wrote? Yes, it is. We get our first loss with one of the best, if not the best, small guard jumpers in the game. Base Steph Curry. You guys see I had 15 points, 6 for 7, 3 for 3 from 3. But we lost. Now, how much does that affect the rating? To be honest, not that much because I'm going to put this as the second best jumper so far behind the Kuzma jump shot. I'm going to say that this jump shot gets a 9.1 out of 10 bro this is a good jump shot i know we didn't get the win but you can see i shot good i know it's a good one i think i've used it in the past but we just couldn't get the win we just couldn't get stops when it mattered most i think connor took a weird shot we had a weird turnover at the end it sucks man it sucks to go out like that heading into this next game here we have base kevin porter jr with both releases as oscar robertson 100 percent speed 50 50 bunny of course the bunny doesn't matter when the releases are the same i've heard a lot of great things about this jump shot joe knows recommended it double h recommended and grinding also recommended it i've also heard a lot of good things from the stage community and the my team community that this jump shot is it now have i used it I don't know. I don't remember if I did. I don't think it was in any of my jump shot videos. So this is going to be the true test. How good is Kevin Porter Jr.'s base actually in NBA 2K23? We are about to find out. I started off with a layup or yeah, I think it was a layup because we're playing two mascots and we're pretty early still in the season. I mean, especially when I recorded this, like, you know, these dudes are they're sweats. Maybe they boosted. Who knows? We're not going to accuse them of anything, but you never know. Oh, so we got to lock in. You know what I'm saying? We got to take our points. I'm cooking. Top of the key. They're both jumping. 7%. Okay. Okay. Is KPJ like that? I'm cooking. Oh, my God. Oh, the crab. Green. Oh, my God. I'm back in my small guard bag. Let me find out. Let me find out. It only took me a few games to get warm. I'm cooking. We're going to go ahead and take the easy lay as the guy was helping onto me, but it doesn't matter. We're still going up with it. We have sharp take. It's 12 to 5. Is KPJ a good base? It's looking like it. Now, I'm not going to jump to conclusions. We're fading in the corner green. And we got the peekaboo animation. 15 to 5. Can we close out the game strong? That is the big question, though, because we started great. You know, we've done this in a couple other, you know, uh, with a couple other jump shots. Oh, my God. I'm pulling with no questions asked. A little crab, if I may. You feel me? It's that easy. It is that easy. Can we get the perfect game? We have not missed. We're at 18 points. Walk back. Oh, my God. <clears throat> of course, I had to launch it little you know i went for swag but we're fading top of the key see you later with a green and we won 21 to 5 21 points zeros across the board because the game was just that fast we couldn't even get any other stats eight for nine five for six from three what a game and bro i went for swag like you know what i'm saying i forced the perfect game i wanted to end it with a three and i i went for a little contested shot i got ahead of myself you know what i'm saying that doesn't mean it's a bad jump shot i got ahead of myself and to be honest with this rating right here bro i'm gonna say it this is another 
10 out of 10 jump shot. I'm giving this a 10 rating. Bro, it's up there. Like the Kuzma base is the best for taller builds. And then for the small guards, bro, after testing this out, it feels so smooth. I was going crazy with it, bro. KPJ, 10 out of 10 jump shot for small guards. Heading into this next game, and it is time for a random jump shot. We have base Facundo Compazzo with release one, Jamias Ramsey, and release two, Tyrell Terry. 100% speed, 74 26 blending. Sorry if I butchered those names. I just picked some random NBA players that no one ever talks about. So yeah, that's how we decided this jump shot. But we get to lock in because you know when we have a random jump shot, we have a tough game ahead of us. I'm oh. dotting Connor. What a dot, bro! Literally, as the guy was coming and I dot him, I'm getting the rebound on my small guard with no badges, putting it up, Connor. I mean, what are you? doing connor like bro is he trolling me is connor trolling me we do get the stop out to me in the left wing green okay okay facundo Campazo. let me find out that this jump shot is like that i'm comboing up the walk back isn't there so i'm still looking i you know thought i had an opening it was open but i earlyed it my stamina was probably pretty 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 uh bit low but we got the ball back. So we have the lead five to two. Can I go crazy with Facundo Campazzo pulling from deep nope. with a man in my face? And I early did. Okay. I mean, we greened one earlier. So like it felt pretty solid when I greened it, to be honest. It didn't look that ugly. Like, bro, when you look at this jump shot, it's not that ugly. Like, yeah, it could probably pass as like an ugly jumper. And oh my God, what am I making? I'm literally making contested layups on a build with oh. no badges. Connor, are you trolling me? Bro, this dude's glitching out. I thought he was about to go out of bounds. He finally gave me the ball. Walk back. Oh, my God. Facundo Campazzo. I mean, I think that was the the craziest contest in the video so far that I greened. Connor is still tweaking as he gives me the ball. But, yeah, that was a crazy shot. Limitless range. Ah, oh, Campazzo. You know what I'm saying? We ran out of luck missing a shot. But the jumper is not terrible. Now, would I recommend it? No. No, do not come away from this video thinking that Facundo Campazzo, Jameis Ramsey, and Tyrell Terry is the jumper you should put on. No, it is just, you know, a part of the journey. We're winning a game with every jump shot, and we had to use my boy Campazzo right corner green, as you guys just saw. Bro, if it's open, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm really, if it's wide open, no one near me, catch and shoot even, it's cash. Campazzo is cash. Connor, we need you to hit. Like, bro, if I'm going to hit you, Connor, we need you to be automatic. You know what I'm saying? We need you to be automatic. Connor's going to come down with the board right wing. Oh, that one didn't go. Like, all right, let me let me chill on the hype of Campazzo because the jumper is really not like that. I mean, of the random ones, oh, my God, Connor. Like, you're giving the other team the ball and shit. But, yeah, of the random jump shots, it's it might be the best so far. It might be the best so far, but that does not mean it's a good jump shot. This team's coming back. Connor with a... Huh? Yo, is this a fake video? Did Connor not get that rebound? It bounced right to him. Connor with a rebound there, finally out to me, left wing. Great. My boy, Facundo Campazzo. You already know. I mean, he set me up, you know, he, he got in the lab, cooked up a good jumper, and we're here. Compazzo, left wing. No. Nope. Oh, my God. I shot it early. I shot it early, but you can't get mad. I'm greening like every other with Facundo Compazzo, so, like, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? With a random jump shot, a random ugly jump shot with random bases, random releases, I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that. We're taking a dunk. Uh, last play. Now I'm comboing up top of the key. A three will win. I'm trying to get it right wing. Bro, I thought I made that. Literally in game, remember, I remember when I did that. I thought I made it because my players started like walking away, but nah, you know what I'm saying? We're not like that. And this team's coming back. Are we going to get another loss? Oh my God. I'm contesting him, Connor, with the rebound out to me. Oh, left wait. corner for three. Dang. Let's go. We, we just won with Facundo Campazzo as our base, and we lost earlier with Steph Curry as our base. That is crazy. Is, is that a. Is that real? Like, I don't know. 21 points, two rebounds, zero assists. And we had eight for 15, five for 12. Now, is this a good jump shot? No, I'd be lying to you if I said it was. And I'm gonna give this jump shot a rating of 3.3 out of 10. You know, it's definitely toward the lower end. 
it's just a random jump shot so you know we're not gonna hype it up too much yeah i'm just gonna give it a three out of three jumping into this next game we have base Derek fisher with release one Derek fisher release two oscar robertson 100 speed 18 and 82 for the blending and this jump shot is recommended by badge plug so if this is a good jump shot, we'll give him the credit. If it's bad, the blame is on bad. But Connor starting us off with another miss. I swear he has not greened a shot since the Vietnam War. I'm blocking a big mascot. That's kind of crazy because I'm on a little bill with no defensive badges, no defense really on it. So I don't know how I'm doing that, but we'll take it. I also got him jumping and we got the lay. Now I'm comboing up top of the key. Is Derek Fisher a good jumper? We're not going to find out yet because Connor just hit his first green jump shot since his 11th birthday party so we are proud of you connor if you're watching this video we we appreciate your shooting ability actually no we don't but i'm gonna dribble around right corner over to connor again please don't shoot it connor's gonna throw it over to me right wing Derek fisher oh my god am i ever gonna use this jump shot again no as we early the first one we do get the ball right back and i have sharp takeover oh my god is this game broken how do i have sharp takeover i have not hit a shot the entire game and i still have it i mean you could give me triple sharp takeover and i don't know if i did a shot with this jumper that's a lie i'll hit one eventually but i'm just gonna go ahead and take the dunk here because obviously this is tough you know what i'm saying like we gotta take our twos when we can when we have a jumper like this connor's calling for the ball but we don't care we're taking another dunk nine to nothing but can we shoot it you know what i'm saying can we get some greens up even if we miss you know we want to see some shots go up we want to see you know if this jumper is good at all left wing i'm still kind of scared you could tell i think i had an open shot on the wing but i didn't shoot it over to me in the corner for three green come on we got our first green up with the Derek fisher jump shot after a very very bad start we're comboing up oh my god what a fade to be honest i missed that clearly but that fade felt good i'm surprised it missed i'm blaming the jump shot because with any other good jump shot i think that's in connor left wing oh my god is he back conda don is back it's 15 to nothing are we gonna shut out these two mascots with a Derek fisher jumper that i you know what i'm saying i cannot throw a basketball into the ocean if i had to with this jump shot on i mean it's that bad corner pocket brain that was a good pass from him good shot for me too it was kind of blocked off over there with two mascots it was kind of tough to see but i just pulled it anyways nope. just like i did right there as i shot a smothered and also an early so you know we got to get out of this game it's 18 to nothing these mascots are gonna go ahead shoot a three connor gets the board and he's gonna take the dunk as well we are up 20 to nothing last play of the game potentially is it actually the last game probably not i'm comboing up top of the key he's jumping i'm out of stamina i gotta hit connor connor hits me i'm holding it trying to catch my breath you can see my players about to die get him an inhaler somebody connor from the hash not gonna go mascots with a chance to come back and they will do just that as they continue to score they were really abusing my height and no defensive badges here as they're gonna go up 11 to 20 they're gonna pass out connor on the help he doesn't shoot it right away he definitely meant to shoot it right away but he didn't and connor got a little contest now we gotta end the game because these dudes are getting a little too close to winning the game so i'm gonna dribble around and go ahead and take the quick drops dunk get us out of this one as we win a game with the Derek fisher jumper 22 to 11 and let's see the stats 14 points two rebounds two assists and the big thing is the shooting six for 11 and two for seven jesus christ that is not good and you know this is not a random jump shot you know what i'm saying this is not one of the ugly jump shots from this video this is actually a recommended solid jump shot right? a badge plug recommended this one so no hate to him i think i recommended this like in like season one until i figured out a couple other better jump shots but if this works for you it works for you it didn't work for me so i'm gonna give this Derek fisher jump shot a 5.7 out of 10 which is yes worse than the ronnie 2k jump shot do i actually believe that no but i actually cook with the ronnie 2k jump shot with this Derek fisher one i really didn't for the next game we have a base john stockton with both releases as oscar robertson 100 speed and the blending doesn't matter because the releases are the same and this jump shot is from me i put this in one of my recent jump shot videos 
It is one of the fastest small guard jumpers, so I gotta be ready for that. When I do shoot, I gotta be prepared because this jumper is fast. It has been fast in previous 2Ks as well. John Stockton, it's just been known to be a fast jump shot because Connor gonna start us off with a green from the corner. It's three to nothing. We are playing a mascot, so we need to lock in. We are in, I believe, the Wildcats Park. Yes, Wildcat. What do you guys think about affiliation? Should they return next year? Left wing, not going to make the first shot. Connor is going to get fouled as this guy is getting a little antsy. You know, when someone's fouling, especially a lot, you see this guy reaching. He's getting a little antsy. He's a little nervous that we're going to beat him. He wants the ball back. You know, we can all relate. We can all relate more versus somebody that is pretty good. Okay, I'm not trying to gas myself up, but that's usually when you start to spam X, when you get a little nervous, you want the ball back. And I'm hitting Connor on the cut right there for the dunk. Seven to nothing. But can we shoot the ball? We have not shot the ball yet. We Actually, yes, we yes we did. We missed one. We are over one. And there's another shot. Top of the key. Great. Ten to nothing. So we are now one for two with this jump shot. And we have sharp take. Again, this game is crazy for that. I've greened one shot. And I have sharp take. Connor in the corner. Not going to shoot. He's going to hit me. Now we're in a weird spot. Because I have no adrenaline boost. I got nothing. But I'm hesying right corner. Not going to go. You know, my stamina was low. That's probably why I missed it. But that was a good shot. For the whole situation I had, that was a good shot. As we're going to get a shot clock violation on the other team and get the ball right back. It is 10 to nothing. And I'm comboing up sharp take. Connor's in the right corner. Walk back to Southern Uganda. Great. Oh my God. I mean, that was a far walk back, especially because I don't have limitless range on this build. You can look in the top right. You can rewind it. Limitless range is not going to pop up because I don't have it on this build yet. I really don't have badges on this build. And we're going to green another one. That was another one from limitless range. I don't know how actually I have the takeover. So that makes a lot more sense. But still, that's kind of crazy that I don't have that badge on. Connor in the corner. Going to throw it back to us. 16 to nothing. I'm running into the corner. He's on me. It doesn't matter. Green. 19 to nothing. We are heating up three straight greens on three straight crazy shots. Can we end it? No. No, we can't. And this jump shot is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We did miss that fade. We're going to go for another one. Okay. Am I ruining the game right now? Is this jump shot not good anymore? I mean, this is starting to get a little concerning. We do get the ball back, though. 19 nothing. Someone on the other team thinks they're in a dunk contest. They just keep using the dunk meter. We're going to miss another one. Okay, this is starting to get a little embarrassing. At least I'll hit this one, though. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, this guy still thinks he's in a dunk contest, so he's going to go for, go ahead for another dunk. His teammate saves him. They're absolutely diving, laying out. And what is this guy going to do? I think everyone in the entire park knows. Here he comes. Oh, my God. Connor. Wow. I mean, you just got dunked on by a guy that missed nine straight dunks. That is embarrassing. Connor's going to get the rebound out to me, and we green the shot to win the game. By a score of 22 to 4. Looking at the stats, 17 points. We did have two assists. We shot 6 for 12, 5 for 11. And for the rating of this jump shot, I don't think it's the best, but I do think it is a solid jump shot. I will go ahead and give this jump shot a 7.8 out of 10. We'll give it a 7.8 out of 10. I think there's some better small guard jump shots than this one, but it is, you know, usable. Now, Guys, that is the last jump shot. I used 15. So what I'm going to say is sub up if you made it this far. And actually, comment. Comment the word Clementine. That's going to be the word. I'm going to go through hard every comment. Reply to you guys. Comment Clementine. That'll show you you made it to the end. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT underscore solo. If you guys are watching this, I'm going to follow some of you guys back. Just tweet at me that you watched the entire video and follow me at YT underscore solo. I appreciate you guys for watching this. This took in, it took a lot of time to create this video, record it, edit it, 